Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 120 degrees, angle 60 degrees, angle 30, and angle 15, and angle 7 and a half degrees. So, so the first thing we are going to be doing is let's draw the straight line. Now let's pick a point where we are going to be make, using as our point of reference. So let me just note this this point. So that's where we are going to be using as our, point, our reference point. So now you just pick your compass. So in doing this, what you do, you just, just you don't need a protractor since we are constructing. Pay attention to that word. We are constructing. So you just need a, a, a compass, a pencil, and a ruler. So you pick your your compass from that point which we've just picked. So let's call that point point O. So you pick a very just a small or convenient um, length length in your compass. So make sure you don't change that length. So from that length, You draw an arc like this. You can see the way the uh, the arc is. You draw it like this. So from this point where the arc is touching the straight line, you co put your compass there with the same length. Make sure you don't change it. You draw the second arc. So when you draw it, let's name this point. This is point O. Let's call this point A and let's call this point B. So we had the two, two arc meets, which is point B. So we'll draw it straight down to point O. To point O. So with that, so with that, this year, this angle here, is representing our angle 120 20 degrees. So that is for angle 120 degrees. Now, from this angle 120 degrees, now let's get our angle 60. Don't forget that uh, 60 degrees is half of angle 120 degrees. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be bisecting angle 120 degrees to get angle 60. In other words, we are going to be dividing this angle 120 degrees into two equal halves so that we can get our angle 60. So uh, let me clean off this 120 that is here so that okay in doing that so just pick your your compass your compass at a convenient um so just draw the arc okay still the same length so let's draw it through all right so so from this point B and let's call this point point C. That is where uh, this arc is touching this straight line. Point C. So, if, so right now what I want to do is I want to extend the length of my compass so to something convenient. So from point C, I'll draw an arc with the same length. I'll come to point B. And draw an arc. So where the two arc meets, I will note that point. So this is the point where the two arc meets. So from there, I will draw a straight line straight to point O. Straight to point O. And with that, we've been able to get our angle 60. So that means this angle here, this particular angle is 60 degrees is 60 degrees this angle here is also 60 degrees so now let me just clean up this part so that we can also get our angle 30 so in getting our angle 30 this angle 60 degree we are also going to be bisecting it so pick your compass at uh, the same length right now now you can use the same length you can try to uh, make it bigger or smaller but now we are trying to construct a fresh angle 30 so I'm using something like this. So from point C, I'll 
So from point C, you draw an arc. Then you come to that a uh, point on that uh, line that forms the angle 60. So let me call that point D. So let me write that as point D with the same length in your compass, you construct an arc. So we have the two meets. So this is the meeting point. You draw it straight down to point O. And now we've gotten angle, angle 30. So let's go, so I believe by now you are familiar with this. So let's go ahead and do that of angle 15. For angle 15, so from point C, again, so let's just extend this, since I'm using the same length. Then from that, this line that touched this arc here. So let me call this time around, let's call it E. With the same length of your compass, you draw an arc. So you can see where the boats meet. So this is where they are meeting. You draw a straight line down to the center, which is point O. Point O. So with that, this is our angle, angle 15, 15 degrees, angle 15 degrees. So let's now uh, construct the last angle, which is angle 7 and a half. So for angle 7 and a half, so, so we are going to be bisecting from point C and then point, let's call this point, point F, point F. That is the new line that is forming the angle 15. Because right now what we want to do is bisect angle 15 so that we can get angle 7 and a half. So from point C, so let's, point C we now, we've drawn an arc. Then from point F, we also bisect it. So the two lines, they are meeting here. So this is where they both meet. So from there, we draw it straight to the center, which is O. And this is angle 7 and a half degrees. So that is it uh, for this video now to construct angle 120, angle 60. So we've been able to construct angle 120, angle 60, angle 30, angle 15, and angle 7 and a half. So what you are just going to, what to just in summary, what you are going to do is first of all, get angle 120 degrees. Then what, when you get angle 120 degrees, you bisect angle 120 degrees. That's you divide it into two to get angle 60. When you get angle 60, you divide it into two, you get angle 30, and the same thing applies to angle 15 and angle 7 and a half. So in case you have any questions concerning this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button. And I will see you all in another video. Thank you and bye for now.